Hello, everyone. Um, uh, yes, I just thought I would catch you all up. I've been waiting for ages now for a phone call from Jimmy Mulville of Hattrick, uh, and it finally arrived yesterday. Um, and and uh, well, it's just an interesting time time to be in this fight, really, because there's a phrase William Gibson uh, has, or not phrase. I'm not sure what you would call it. What would you call it? Uh, 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 um, anyway, it's one of his, uh, and he says the future is here. It's just unevenly distributed, and the future is indeed here in the, in the form of uh, Ricky Gervais's uh, new special today, Dave Chappelle's special. These are very successful comedians who are doing very well, and they're going to make millions through all all the work they're doing for for Netflix. But at the same time, there's people like me who've been fighting this for six years. And we continue, to, we continue to be just kind of beaten up in a dark alleyway without anyone helping us. Because um, sure, sure enough, yesterday, Jimmy told me that uh, they, they won't be moving ahead with me attached to the Father Ted musical. Um, now, I, I've been kind of, um, I, I've changed my, uh, you know, the way I'm dealing with all this. I, at first, I was going to be quiet about it. You know, because I was protecting the show. But unfortunately, my position here is too important to back down. Like, Jimmy at one point said to me, we don't want to take sides. We don't want to be drawn into this. But the thing is, by not supporting me, um, they are they are, they are, are making a, a point. By trying to get rid of me, they are taking sides. Um, they're taking the side of... Uh, the people Alison Bailey is in court fighting today. Alison Bailey is the black lesbian barrister who uh, was uh, cancelled um, in various different ways. And one of the things she was angry about was the overcoming the cotton ceiling uh, workshop by Morgan Page, a man who's still on who's still on Stonewall's website. Overcoming the cotton ceiling refers to the so-called problem of um, of lesbians not wanting to sleep with. Uh, uh, as Ricky Gervais puts it, women with penises. Um, it's for standing up for those women, those lesbians, that I'm being punished, and that the TED musical is uh, the TED musical is being sacrificed on behalf of these ideas. You know, another idea is that there's such a thing as trans kids, and that these kids must be put on puberty blockers and receive surgeries, or they will be. Uh, or they will commit suicide. I think that's the current line. Um, this goes against every bit of evidence we have. These children are being put on a medical pathway unnecessarily. The girls are going into early menopause. They're getting hysterectomies. They're getting double mastectomies. I said this to one person at Hattrick, and, and they said, literally, I don't care. I wrote a letter to Hattrick just before um, they told me, no, well, let me read out this letter. I just said, I'm living under a bit of a cloud when I don't think you all have my back as collaborators or as business partners or as friends. Far from being on the wrong side of history, J.K. Rowling and I have been proved right over and over again. This is a poisonous ideology that is destroying lives, and both sides are not to blame for the toxicity. If you doubt that people are not on my side, please read the comments under this Times piece. Sonia, this, was, uh, this is addressed to Sonia Friedman who once said to me that I was on the wrong side of history and then changed her mind after J.K. Rowling came out as a turf. Uh, Sonia said, I said to Sonia, Sonia, you know how J.K. Rowling has suffered and how her heart must break every day. Stop telling me to stop standing up for her and my daughter. My daughter is not a cervix haver. She is a woman and she is my daughter. Don't anyone dare use Ted as leverage to make me abandon my daughter or I will simply take it elsewhere. I'm sorry to have to put it in such strong terms, but these people are monsters and everyone needs to start standing up to them. I can't force you to be brave, but I can ask you to stop adding to the pressure that is currently on me. The next time I hear from Talkback, uh, from Hattrick, sorry, not to bring Talkback into this, they didn't do anything. Uh, the next thing, um, the next I heard from, from Hattrick, they brought me to a meeting and they told me that they, want, they wanted to give me money to go away, to step away from the show. Um, 200 grand they offered me and hilariously it wasn't even it was my own money they wanted to pay me an advance on my own royalties now i just want to kind of remind people 
I have worked on the Father Ted musical for seven years. I uh, came up with the idea, came up with the with the with a lot of the song concepts, came up with most of the structure. Um, it's really my baby. I convinced Arthur to do it. Um, it was easy to convince Neil. Uh, it was a it, you know it continues to be a great great idea. It's not like a, a kind of a karaoke version. We've called we're called we will be calling it because I I I don't doubt it will be made one day. But we will be calling it Father Ted: The Final Episode. Um, it's uh, it's a it's a nice ending to the Ted Ted kind of story after you know the first tragic ending, which which of course which was Dermot's death. Um, so yeah, so that's all it is. It's a musical. It has nothing to do with this issue, um, but it's being held hostage at the moment by trans rights activists and. Someone who I think is are almost as much to blame for what we've gone through for over the last 10 years, and that is cowardly corporations and bosses who should be the adults in the room, but don't stand up for their artists and don't stand up to bullies. Um, it is... Uh, well, I had an interesting thing once when I went into... Um, uh, the 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 offices the hat trick offices the last time i went in there was someone there and he gave me an absolutely filthy look this is someone i've been friends with for 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 that long and of course never any explanation never any never any reasoning never any oh you're getting this wrong because because these people know they're wrong and they just can't talk about it they can't talk about it because there's no um, there's no justification. There's no justification for standing by while young kids are getting uh, mutilated and sterilized. There's no justification for autistic kids being put on who are who are who are overly represented amongst uh, the the amount of kids uh, uh, calling themselves trans. There's no justification for leaving them uh, hanging. There's no justification for the many predators who are identifying into a trans status to get close to women and children. There's no justification for the mutilation of these young girls, the mastectomies, the hysterectomies. There's no justification for the erasure of the word woman, the words, the words being replaced with the most dehumanizing, disgusting insults like cervix havers and menstruators and bleeders. There's no justification for any of it. And yet, and yet, they will tell me to walk away from my own show because I stand against these things. So, uh, so yeah, so that's where we are. I am hoping that eventually um, uh, I'll be able to either get it away from them um, or they will realize what they've been doing. Because... Like this is this is a, a historical moment, and if you're if you're not on one side, you really are on the other. And at the moment, hat trick are putting themselves on the side of oh, the homophobes who try to ruin Alison Bailey's life, the homophobes who are now coming after Doctor Az Hakim. <laughs> you know, they're putting themselves on that side by not supporting me. So all I can say is, you know. I, I, we'll see what we'll see what happens. Like like, in the end, I'm not going to step back. For I'm not going to step down. And to be honest with you, I do think that Hattrick and Sonia Friedman Productions owe me an apology for everything they put me through. You know, there was even a phone call made to my wife. You know, to put pressure on her. That happened while we were still married. So I blame that phone call for being part of the reason why my marriage broke up. So there's a lot of apologizing to be done. There's a lot of kind of, um, you know, there's ways they can make up with it, make up for it. I'm actually going to ask them for the amount of money they were going to pay me to step away to allow them to do the musical. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We're just going to butt heads, I think, for a while. But it's very depressing because, they, you know, these industries are so captured. Theatre and television are so captured that it's going to take a long time for them to... Uh, to to kind of come out of it, and as I say, the the you know peak being peaked is 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 um, uh, is uh, uh, you know distributed unevenly around the world, and uh, 
And I guess I'm just going to have to wait a little bit longer for the news to hit Hattrick and, and Sonia Friedman productions. But one thing I will say about Sonia Friedman, how can she stand by after what happened to J.K. Rowling? I know they're, they're friends. How can she not support? How can she, how can she think that, that there's any kind of justification for what she's been through? You know, you're supposed to stand up for your friends. That's what you're supposed to do, especially when it's hard. And no one's doing that. No one's doing that. <sighs> anyway. So, uh, yeah, is there any other questions I can ask? I know people are talking about, um, people are talking about uh, uh, crowdfunding, but um, I think the, the, the amount of money that goes into musicals is so crazy big that, you know, you would be, you would be, you'd be able to fund the first week on a crowdfunder. So I don't think that it, so that, I don't think that's going to happen. What might, what might, might be able to do, and I'm looking into this, is seeing if we can buy it off, talk, uh, buy it off Hattrick. Because Hattrick, you know, if they just sit on it and refuse to make it, that's just vandalism. There's no reason to do that. They're just kind of, what are they hoping I'll die? Because <laughs> that's the only way that I'm going to move away from this project. So, you know, why, why deny people the chance to see this show? Which, again, has nothing to do with the trans issue. Uh, except, of course, it's about another sacred class. Um, so, uh, yeah, let me see. Is there anything else I could say? No, I think that's it. I just wanted to kind of, um, I just wanted to kind of catch people up. Unfortunately, I waited and I waited and I gave them every chance to catch up. And to, become, and to kind of educate themselves, as we say, as they say, about this issue. But it's almost like they still just haven't done the first bit of research. And they're still just going to, uh, to press on with this, even though the cast review is coming out soon, which is going to uh, completely vindicate us on the subject of medicalization of children. The Alison Bailey trial is ongoing, which has a shocking moment every day. The one today was was the most extraordinary possibly so far, where they compared lesbians not wanting to have sex with men. Uh, to, or they compared le uh, men wanting to have sex with lesbians to pre-apartheid black people. You know? So there's something like this every day. Uh, of course, it just kind of, I guess, depends whether the people in Hattrick are reading any newspapers outside of The Guardian and The, and the Independent. I would imagine... Guardian and independent readers don't even know the name Alison Bailey. So, yeah, so that's it. What a pain. Thanks for all the nice words everyone's, uh, everyone's, uh, everyone's contributing. Um, I'm going to keep talking about this. I've got a project coming up that, that's going to be going into this in more detail. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I'm sorry, but, you know, you can pretend you're not in it, but if you're ignoring it, you're complicit in it. And that's what I'm going to be um, proving over the next few months. Okay, thank you very much. See you soon. Bye.